Um, one of the things that we could do as well is we could do something with like meeting notes. Um, so I'm just gonna do add new. And what I could do is I could just say team meeting. Okay. Um, so what I can also do is do, um, this is like maybe the team meeting where it's like, um, maybe from here, I have like the, um, a template that just starts in category. Okay. So under team meeting, maybe I've got, um, stuff that, uh, you know, agenda, and then I've got it ready to go for, um, whatever I want to put in there. All right. And then I've got, um, I want a table and then it says, um, attended. And then I want to say title. And then maybe that's it, right? So I get rid of this one. Okay. So now we say, okay, um, when we get here, here's the agenda. In fact, we could even make this now a checklist. Make it easy for people. Okay. So as they're going through and adding stuff here, they could, um, like once they put something here, they can say item one. And then when I hit enter, it does the next one. Okay. So I, we can even make it easy. And this could be your template that shows up every time that you do something to do with a, a team meeting. Okay. Um, but so we've got those, uh, we also have, this would be good for like a client meeting. Okay. So we've got attended, um, who's there on the title. Um, and then you could also come down here and you could have like an area for notes or something. Right. Um, so. Um, one of the things we're looking for here is to make it super easy, right? We want everything to be amazingly easy. So one of the things that we can do here is we can say, okay, this is for our team to have team meetings. So we could actually do the date here. So like if we have a team meeting every week, I would just do 7 11 23 meeting. Okay. So now all of a sudden I could take that front page, which is now, I mean, we should make it into a template, but let's just say it was a template and I just click on here, add template. And then, so it automatically throws in this part. Okay. So I could say what my agenda is. I could say, um, summary of last week. Let's go over, um, Q two numbers. And then we're going to celebrate wins. Okay. So those are the things we can do. We could say Johnny showed up at the PM. Nate was here. There is a admin. Right. Um, so you could keep adding things here, adding more people, more people, all that good stuff. Right. Um, and you don't have to have title. You just do whatever you want to do. Right. I'm just trying to give you examples. So um, now we can get into uh, now we can get into our items of what we talked about, right? So this is kind of our our notes of what's going on in the meeting. When we got when we have things going on in the meeting, um, we can type things out and we say, okay, so here's some ideas for um, for. Let's do enterprise client. Okay, so maybe one, we're going to, um, we're gonna call all of them by Monday. Okay, so we start and then we say bad idea was given out here and then another good idea was here and then a great idea was here and then um, a, bad idea again. Okay. We're just brainstorming, talking through stuff in the meeting. Now, towards the end of the meeting, when well, we're going to, okay, we need some actionable items from this meeting, right? We don't want to just have a meeting to have a meeting. So now we say, okay, yeah, we really don't need to do this one or the bad idea, but we definitely are going to do this one and the great idea. Good idea. We're going to probably pass till next week. So this one, what we do is we can turn it into a task. We highlight it, hit add task. We can add that to like our team area or something like that. 
Okay, we can select where we want to put it. Um, and then we could make a task. So now I'm going to assign it to somebody. I can assign it to a team. I can assign it just to me. I'm just going to assign it to me. And then we're going to say, call all of them by Monday. So due date is Monday. Okay, I'm going to close it out. I'm going to hit create. Now, all of a sudden, this is a task here. And if you hover over it, it will tell you what status it is. So maybe I'm in progress with this sucker, right? So I've got this sitting here. I can see, everybody can see that it's in progress, okay? Um, we could also do the great idea. We could do the same way, okay? So then in our next meeting, whoops, I did that wrong, sorry. Let's delete this one and let's go to our next meeting is, let's say 718. 23 meeting. Okay. Um, let's say that it already populates a bunch of stuff, right? So it's already populating um, agenda and the attended, right? Because we're going to use a template. Okay. Uh, but so this should already be populated for me. So agenda. So one of the things that we're going to want to do for the agenda is we're going to want to go over, go over last week's um, tasks. Meaning tasks, okay? So that's one of the things we're gonna wanna go over. So now we could have an area that says um, last week's meeting tasks, okay? And so now what we could do is we could pull that over from the other meeting, okay? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I can actually like highlight this. Okay, so now, um, now everybody can see um, where we're at with this. Okay, so it keeps everybody on track. It makes it be very easy. So we know what happened. We know who was supposed to do it. We know that we pulled it from here. We know the action items. Then we can follow it up on it here. Let's say somebody is actually doing this thing. And so they say it's actually closed and it, it did a good job. So when we come in here to our last week meeting task, then we're like, oh, Nate already completed this. Good job, Nate. How did it go? Let's talk about that. Um, and then so we can go from there. Okay. So this is a way to keep everything organized um, and then to make sure that it's super easy. You can also tag people in here. The reason why... Um, you'd want to make this um, taggable and searchable. Let's say that somebody missed a meeting, okay? They're out of town, that's okay. They can just go back and click on it and they can go to it and they can see who was there. Um, they can see what's going on. They can click into this and see what it is, when it's due, who's assigned to it. Um, and then they can see all the notes from the actual meeting, okay? Um, so that way you don't have to run over it again and again and again and again, okay? Um, all right, so that's the basics of docs. You can also link them to tasks um, by just going into the actual task. Let's say that we want to go into this task. We can add a relationship to a doc and we can just put it in here. If I click on that, it would add it here. And then, um, what would happen is you could just click on the doc anytime you see it here and it will just go right to it. Okay. Um, so that's pretty easy. And then that way you can make sure that you're staying on top of things, filling things back and forth for clients or for yourselves internally.